So this next video we're just going to use the same objects we have in our scene uh, to discuss how you navigate in 3D space. So you're going to need obviously a keyboard and a mouse. Uh, you're going to need to preferably uh, I like uh, it's just a regular wired mouse uh, not a battery powered one because um, it just picks up more instantly it seems for me anyway and the uh, middle mouse uh, functionality uh, works better so sort of with with the older analog mouse mice buttons um, your keyboard obviously has to have an alt key um, because in order to manipulate uh, objects and uh, toggle uh, the camera around you need to be pressing the alt key okay so to rotate like I'm doing here and you see the cursor changing I'm simply holding down the alt key moving my mouse while pressing the left mouse button and holding it uh, if I want to pan my scene or dolly like that you can see the mouse cursor changing I'm holding down alt key while pressing and holding the middle mouse button and moving my mouse and to zoom where you can actually go in and out and you see the mouse cursor changes as well I'm holding down the alt key and pressing the right mouse button so that's it it's rotate left click alt pan and dolly is middle mouse drag and holding alt zoom is right click and holding alt you can also zoom by just scrolling in the with the middle mouse scroll wheel if your mouse has that so that's it I just wanted to talk quickly about that um, another thing is the F key will frame the selected object in the scene so that it becomes front and center so I have multiple objects in the scene and I spread them out whichever one I'm selected on if I hit the F key it will zoom and snap to that object the camera uh, if I press A it will reset the camera to show everything in the scene so F will impact just individual objects and A all the objects as far as uh, framing things on the scene um, it can also work when you have the object selected in the outliner and another thing lastly is uh, the back bracket will take you back it'll step back through all your previous camera views so if you're setting up renders and you're trying out different things and you may maybe see you don't like something uh, the way you set your camera but you like something the way it was viewed you can back it up by using the back bracket and the forward bracket will just go the other way so that's it in a nutshell for moving and uh, I mean uh, yeah manipulating the cameras in the scene uh, you can't do anything to the uh, camera when you're in the side view except pan uh, I mean the orthographic views so the alt middle mouse pans uh, if you're in another window say let's say the hypergraph which is this nodes view uh, the same metaphor applies so I can zoom in and out I can uh, I can well you can't rotate but you can you can pan and you can zoom and then you can also hit F to frame the object and A to frame all the objects so uh, like with a lot of things in Maya uh, one uh, one metaphor applies uh, sort of across the program so um, when you're in say the UV texture editor which is a standalone window uh, it's the same concept of moving 
uh, the camera view around as if you were in the orthographic viewport. So that's that. In our next video, we'll get into talking about creating objects and interacting with the objects in the 3D scene.